I don't buy any products because they come from a particular manufacturer. Uh, the, in a sense, the, the, the products have to choose me. And, and I'm happy that I've got many RME products, but I, I, I'm loyal because they work, not because they're RME. My name is uh, Pete Kowsji. I run The Soundhound, which is a collective of uh, freelance sound recordists who work, we, we do everything, but uh, primarily we work on fixed rig camera shows and jobs that need a coordinated sound approach. I've been in the industry for about 20 years. I've been a sound supervisor for about 10 years. I started off working on shows like uh, Top Gear. Uh, I also did Dirty Sanchez back in the day, a job that I absolutely loved. Uh, and then reality TV shows such as Geordie Shaw, X on the Beach. I've done Just the Two of Us. And more recently, I've done Hunted and Celebrity Karaoke Club. As I worked with a roster of freelancers, I, I, I found people that I became very, very comfortable working with all the time. And so we started the Sound Hounds, and so we are a, a, a branded team who work together. We've been a company for about three years, but our background runs about 10 years. We started doing Geordie Shaw about 10 years ago, uh, and we've, we've remained doing that to date. Uh, and we've moved on to other shows such as uh, X on the Beach. But where we need... Uh, uh, common kits, I provide the equipment. Uh, so, so radio mics, camera hops, microphones if need be, and infrastructure for reality shows. If there's anything that I like in this, in this job, it's making things work. Coming across a challenge and you just have to work it out. And trying to work it out in the most elegant solution is, is, is what I love to do, is to find really elegant solutions to complex problems. The houses and the properties and the, uh, uh, the, the shows that we make take hundreds of metres in cable length. Now, when you're using analogue cables, the longer the cable, the more degradation of sound you've got, the more susceptible it is to uh, interference. Uh, the, the shorter we can make the analogue length, the better for ourselves. One of the problems we've, we've always had on our jobs is that we go in there and we mic everything up perfectly. And then uh, a camera and lighting person comes along plonks a massive, very, very powerful lights, puts their cables all over our cables, everything buzzes, and we've got to start again, and we've got to get it right. So anything that can keep a consistent, so once we know we've done, we're done, that's a good thing for us. So with Maddie, we can uh, put many miles of cabling without any effect on sound. Uh, it's, it's, it's lighter, it's easier, it's, it's still robust. Uh, but, it, it, but it just works. It carries up to 64 tracks and it works perfectly for us. And on, our, on, on the scale of the jobs we do, trying to, trying to keep it as light as possible is, is a major advantage. We're doing these jobs all over the world. It's a lot easier to actually pack up and export and re-import as well. So I'm constantly trying. I'm constantly trying to push the, 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 the analog to digital conversion further up the chain. I'm a member of a uh, Facebook forum called UK Sound Underground, which is the best resource in probably in the country for, for, for sound recordists. And I saw a post saying uh, uh, that they were using uh, a couple of AS42 mics on a feature film. And one of the, uh, the, the key things about, about the AS42 mics is they've pushed the analog to digital conversion as far as it can theoretically go. That takes away problems like uh, electromagnetic interference, also gives you wider dynamic range with much lower signal to noise ratio. So that sent me down a rabbit hole of research and I spent days researching it and I could find uh, the, 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 the microphones. The problem that I found was most mixers that, that we use only have one or two channels that actually uh, uh, can drive an AS42 mic. We work on a scale of, of anywhere between 16 and 48 mics. Um, and I wanted that kind of capability. So I then decided to do research into multi-channel AES-42 preamps. And there was only one company that did it. Luckily, it was the company that I've grown up loving, you know, grow, uh, grown to love do, uh, using their equipment, which is RME uh, with the DMC-842. And uh, so I, I've invested in them and, and they're, they're working fantastically.
we have four DMC 842s, so we can run up to 32 channels of AS42 mics. Along with the DMC842, we're using mainly Neumann uh, KM digital mics uh, with uh, 83 or 84 heads. The digital conversion is right in, in the mic at the mic head stage. So we, we theoretically can't get it any better than it is. Um, when we when we first started, we had all kinds of buzzers and you never knew whether it was it was between the mic and the preamp, or whether it's the preamp and the router, or whether it's the router and the recorder. Now we know exactly where the uh, analog to digital conversion is. We we know exactly how to keep it safe, and uh, and we're and we're bearing the results of that. We're essentially cutting uh, uh, our 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 potential problems at source. But it also means that once we put our infrastructure in place, we won't have to do it again, because at some point we're probably going to be moving over to 32-bit recording. We're well-placed with our digital mics to take advantage of that. Uh, we could, we could uh, set cautious gain settings, knowing that if it's boosted in post, it won't cause the problems of boosting signal to noise either. One area where lots of stuff happens in, in, in the kind of shows we work on is we mic the beds, we mic the bed heads, and someone might be having a little conversation there, they might turn into a massive row. So you've got to be really, really careful of your setting your gain levels. So we want a microphone that can, we can set a gain level, so it can everything from a whisper to a scream can be boosted or reduced in post uh, without affecting the signal to noise ratio too much. I've been using RME products now for about, 20 years. Uh, this was the first product I bought, the quad mic. I've still got it because I love it. I bought it for Top Gear just to, to do in-car stuff because uh, it, it can be run off batteries, battery power, uh, and it's, it's, it's four preamps, and that's just what I needed to mic up a car. And that kind of set me on the road to, to using RME. Eventually, when I started doing reality TV shows, I needed multiple mic preamps. Uh, I used the Octomic 2 because, for me, it was the best multi-channel preamp out there. We had about four or five of those running up to 40 channels, mic channels. So the next idea was to, to use MADI, organize everything through an RME MADI router. Uh, and, that, and, and that took uh, the, the, the analog to digital conversion uh, was at the RME XTC, which I still use now and, and is, a, is a fantastic product. We've now moved on to the uh, DMC842 and, and again, We've, we're just pushing, we're constantly pushing things, trying to improve things, trying not to stand still. On the other side of that, we do shows where we don't always, we record only a backup sound. The recording is embedded uh, with, with the video onto video streams. Uh, so sometimes they've asked us to deliver in Dante. So we've used the MADI to, the RME MADI to Dante converter. We've often used the RME uh, MADI to AES converter, both balanced and unbalanced as well. Uh, and then even, once we've done the recordings, we then use the RME uh, uh, Maddie Face Pro uh, if just for everyone to be able to listen to any, six, any one of the 64 tracks of our recording uh, just using an iPad setup, and that's been really popular. RME has its stamp all over my, my audio infrastructure. Anytime I've needed anything, RME seems to have already invented it. We use Total Mix in order to monitor uh, our sound. We use it uh, uh, after our recordings, so anyone can uh, listen to any of, of the tracks that we are recording. Everyone from our exec producers to directors to loggers to, to, to runners sometimes need to listen to what we're doing, and, and there's few better products than using a, a, an iPad with Total Mix through a MadiFace Pro. It's fantastic because you can uh, you can hide the outputs and you can hide the playback and all you've got is the inputs and the actual quality of the headphone amp is peerless and it's really really easy to use. I'm also happy to say that what I've found is the the younger iPad generation instinctively know how to use Total Mix better than I could and they actually teach me a few tricks. I would say quite a unique thing about 
RME compared to other manufacturers is sometimes you, with other man- manufacturers, you need to be plugged into a PC or a uh, or, or a Mac or a computer. With RME, all of its functionality are actually on the panels. And that's really important to me because sometimes I'll rig a house or a, or a studio and then I won't be on the job. Someone else will be taking over the job and they'll call me up with a problem and and I, I can I can solve I can solve it blind. I don't need to, to be in front of a computer. I don't need to get them to do anything for me. I can just say, what are the indication lights setting? I can then go into what what settings I've done and work out what I've done wrong and and, and solve that over the phone. You know, I'm not infallible, but RME makes it really, really easy for me to 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 solve my own problems. We you normally have a master clock, which is our, our sound devices PIX recorder. Uh, after that, everything's on external. One of the, the amazing things about RME is their, their clock stabilization is second to none. RME, when you listen to the product, sounds exceptional. And you could you, there, there's plenty of multi-channel preamps. And my favorite for sounding is, R, is RME. I, you know, I, like, I like the sound. It's easy to think that all preamps are the same, but actually there's differences. They're, they're, they may be small-scale differences, but R, I, I think RME I have, have a really, really positive comparison to any other products in its class. RME are also good because they don't use, seem to use any uh, proprietary um, uh, uh, hardware. RME products talk to other products effortlessly. So if, if, they, if there's something that wasn't, uh, uh, which I'm using, which wasn't produced by RME, I could still be confident that, that will work with an RME product. I just like the ergonomics of RME. Everything seems to be easy to control. Everything seems to be understandable. Everything seems to be set up in a in a in a pretty identical fashion. So once you get used to one product, you pretty much mastered the the, the new product that's come along. I'm very very proud to say that i've never had a problem with rme products that ha- that haven't turned out to be a user error as opposed to a manufacturer error they are ultimately very very reliable products i'm really proud that when, when i go on set and i see the air force blue come out when i when i open that 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 uh, rack case and see the air force blue i always feel a bit safe from that it's a, it's quite a comforting color to know that i've got rme products there we work uh, all over the world, humid conditions, cold conditions, hot conditions. It survives under all of them. It's a real trooper of a brand. When I get an RME product, I don't worry about it. I know that that part is going to be a strong link in our chain. We do large scale uh, uh, sound installations, multi-track, mini mics, uh, um, uh, uh, with long cable runs. And when you do that, every now and again, you're probably going to need some advice from uh, your distributor or your product uh, distributors. And I've really found Syntax a really friendly, helpful company to to rely on. And it keeps my stress levels low. It keeps mine and my 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 other my other colleagues. Keep when we we need Syntax to help us, they step up to the plate. Even when I first started using RME products, Syntax was so helpful. Whenever I called them, uh, they're, they're, they're always willing to help, they're always willing to assist, and they're a real pleasure to, to, to deal with. I already have often recommended Syntax to my colleagues. Uh, they provide a really fantastic service, and I'm really happy to work with them. Syntax have been really good at getting in touch with me to ask if there's any product development ideas that I would I would require and I've given them my advice but the main thing is they're listening to us they are actually asking end users what they would need and what they would require they would be and that's that's what a good distributor should be doing. 